To farm or not to farm? That is the question. Hello and welcome. I guess it's a rather silly question as of course you are going to farm in some way or another. This is really a, a matter of whether you are specking into the farmer class or not. This is a three-part, very comprehensive series on farming and Darkness Falls. First, we're going to look at the farmer class and whether you really actually need it. In part two, we're going to look at everything related to trees and creating orchards. Finally, in part three, we will go into all the other plants that require water for growth, including irrigation and underground farms. In vanilla, seven days to die. Understanding food is not that important. Often you can just collect some tin food, make some bacon and eggs, and well, you're good to go. However, in Darkness Falls, even tin food can make you ill. So understanding cooking and what food can do for you and how to do the correct farming methods can have many benefits. The Darkness Falls mod also does not have candy that you can buy from vending machines or traders. These buffs now come from the advanced food that you can make. So, let us start. First up, one of the most popular questions asked by new players is what is a good starting class? And the response they're going to get very often is the farmer class. Many people start Darkness Falls with the farmer class. So can you play the game without doing the farmer class, especially if you are playing solo? So first things first, let us compare. If you go with the farmer class, you read the class book at the start. Then you do the six quests to complete the class introduction. The farmer allows you to add skill points into many levels. There is the living off the land, and then finally there is the sous chef subsections. This is around about 10 points. Then there is the mastery. All of this gives you the ability to use practically all the food and drink recipes. You also get to harvest additional crops, either in the wild or from your farms. You get to use irrigation, grow lights, and you also get to make special seeds used in underground farms. So if you want to go with irrigation and you want to also use underground farming, then you must spec points into the farming class. If you are an SMG gun user, then the mastery level farmer also gives you level 80 SMGs. Now, what happens if you don't choose the farmer class? First off, you have to use the three basic farming tips perk. Adding three points in here will give you all you need to start farming, such as the tools, um, a mortar and pestle, and you'll also be able to obtain some basic recipes. Then, as long as you explore, you should be able to find many recipes for many other foods. So the bottom line, what are you missing out if you don't go the farmer class? Well, there are some recipes that require the living off the land perk. The living off the land perk is only found when doing the farmer class. So certain seeds such as the banana or orange tree seeds, uh, tomatoes, carrots, these are a few of the Darkness Falls only recipes and they are locked behind that class. As mentioned, you also cannot do irrigation and underground farming. If that is what you want to do in the early game, then go for it. If you want to get to do irrigation and underground farming and have uh, lots of trees uh, like coconuts, um, apples, no sorry, apples, you can get the seeds without the farmer class. But oranges, coconuts, bananas, all of those require the farmer class to be able to obtain those seeds. So is it worth going with farmer as a starting class? Honestly, I used to always go with farmer and I used to enjoy making farms. However, I noticed that most often I would end up doing the farms in the late game anyway. Early game, I'm just trying to survive, build up my weapons, my base, surviving horde knights. I'm also never an SMG user. So the SMG level 80 ability that you get from the farmer class mastery, it makes no difference whether I have it or not. 
I tend not to bother with special recipes. Um, trees like bananas, oranges, coconuts are generally overrated in my play style as well. I may plant the trees, but I don't actually use them that much. You also don't need irrigation for large farms. Finally, underground farming. I built a base once underground. And since then, I decided that it's not really my play style. I prefer to be in the open air, building on the surface. So, as much as it can take slow to obtain all the crops that you may want for your farm, you're certainly not going to starve. If you decide to leave out the farmer class for later on in the game, or not even bother with it, especially if you're doing co-op, then you can always, you know, give someone else to do the farmer class, and then you're going to reap the benefits if you're going to share. So hopefully you have some food for thought on whether you should choose the farming class at the start of the game or leave it until later or just leave it out completely. Just by specking a few points into the basic farming tips perk and by exploring, which I love doing, get a lot of the recipes. I don't need to have irrigation, but a lot of people do. And having those massive farms with elaborate irrigation it really is very satisfying, but you don't need them to survive. If I miss something or if I have um, or if you have a recommendation and you want to share your experience, please feel free to comment and I usually respond quite quickly. Right, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and give it a like. There will be another video coming soon. This one will go into everything related to trees. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.